Hello and welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of longtime friends and nerdy ass Tumblr users transcend geography through the power of Skype to play Dungeons and Dragons and critically fumble a lot. Although mostly that's been in the other game lately, so let's just hope that this is Roll Twenty, working out it, working it out of its system. Not that we're necessarily looking at combat this session anyway. Um, the uh, Cupcake Coterie is currently in Belarus, a uh, grand city in the country of Equitas, um, trying to, among other things, get themselves a uh, dragon-slaying weapon of some description. We're hoping for a sword, because Remy might mm. be options for something else, but that depends on you guys. Um, among the various bits of adventure you guys have been having in town, um, Ocean Hag, uh, Poisoner's uh, former mercenary captain with a grudge and a magic amulet, overprotective parents. Mm. Um, Don't forget the mad scientist. The, 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 the mad arcanist, actually. Just, uh, Artificer, whichever. Artificer, yes. Uh, Allie. <laughs> and we're not forgetting Allie anytime soon. Uh, One word. Kerboom. In any case, they've just finished having dinner at Remy's parents. Uh, yeah, over overprotective mom. Uh, somewhat less visibly, but still overprotective dad. Very old Pomeranian. Who... Uh, attempts to follow Remy down the stairs as you guys take your leave. And yeah, it has, has to be kind of restrained because it's an arthritic old dog and it has, has a bit of trouble with the stairs. Uh, you are headed for the Book, Bow, and Dragon to be meeting mm -hmm. up with Torin about half an hour late. Time to go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 zoom! And I'm running... And Hazel doesn't know that she's <laughs> Oh, boy. I'm just getting flashbacks of that one alley. <laughs> oh, Somebody boy. stop me before I get anywhere particularly nuts. Actually, no. I, 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 screw this. Hazel, make me a survival check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. This is going to be amazing. Survival in the city. That's going to be interesting. Well, it's the only role I've really got for sense of direction. Could be investigation, but this is theoretically easier. Surprisingly, Hazel. I mean, you you lose sight of Hazel entirely. Oh boy, this is not going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. If we'll, we'll leave Hazel for the time being. You you lose sight of Hazel entirely. She just voomed. I'm sure she'll be fine, right? <laughs> By the grace of Paylor. <laughs> Madeira, Madeira. I love your I'm just face. picturing a, you know, Hazel-shaped cloud of smoke. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> We've, 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 it's, like, it's, it's, it's like it's like watching Skyler, new little dust cloud. Well, no, oh boy. Well, she, yeah, definitely, that's definitely family. Oh boy. I think my ears popped when the air filled that vacuum. Ah. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna try to chase her down. I mean, I hopefully she knows where we're going, and we'll we'll get there and, and find out. I don't think we have much choice in the matter. <laughs> yeah. So you take it you're just pootling off to the book bow and dragon and hoping Hazel doesn't Maybe keeping an eye out down down side streets, uh down in the gutter, up on the roofs, etc. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> or listening, rather than yeah. talking. Listen for, listen, for, know, listen for frantic screaming. Look for green blur, <laughs> green white blur. Green the brown whole look blur. up, look down. Hazel, or, you guys, you guys don't find Hazel because Hazel has found a shortcut. <laughs> Hazel beats you guys there by ten minutes. <laughs> 
So, Hazel turns up, and they haven't arrived yet. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I'm just going to go in and wait there. <laughs> and in I go. The, the place is bustling, fairly packed. Uh, I am looking for Torin. Can I see him? Torin's currently on stage. I'm just going to look around and try to settle into somewhere. Are you ordering a drink at all? Or? Nope, just waiting. Okay. Uh... You, don't really, to, I will. You, don't, you don't really manage to find a seat, so you're kind of left standing at the bar looking country awkward. <laughs> Great. And, and the, 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 the the dwarf with the uh, with with the leg brace behind the bar sort of stumps up and going They let you out alone, did they? <laughs> What'll you have? Uh I'm not great at this, uh Whatever the normal ale is, I guess. The normal. Or, I I I don't know. You know, I don't know. I, I I'm from the country. I really don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can picture this in my head. It's brilliant. <laughs> Dude, the of... look of exasperation in his dwarf face in my head. Yeah, the look looks at Hazel for a minute and just. How much are you looking to spend, lass? Mm, five gold? Damn! Sorry. <laughs> that just slipped out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Reaches out. Pat. This is a very confused half elf. <laughs> Put eight silver on the bar. I will be right back. Flunking uh, an entire gold just as an apology <laughs> for sheer ridiculousness. He comes back with perhaps the most interesting drink you have ever seen. It's obviously very cold. There's a sort of a pinkish red slush in it and a strawberry on the rim along with a little paper umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you get? A strawberry sunrise or a daiquiri? You, 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 you got yourself a daiquiri. I love you. <laughs> Take, takes the gold. Looks at Hazel. That'll do for a tip, I suppose. Puts it in the uh, put puts it in the box. Try that. There is trying. It it's a it's a very good daiquiri, and of course you've never had anything like this. The closest you've had is the orange sorbet back in Gray's Inn, except this is strawberries and alcohol. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are not the size of dinner plates. This whole like. What is this? This is a revelation. I can see time. So yeah, you guys finally get in and you see Hazel with that oh. I can see time and space expression and this frozen uh, pinkish red slush drink. Uh, okay, <laughs> this didn't yet end as badly as I was worried it was going to. <laughs> But we're still on the track. What the hell? <laughs> Light at the end of this tunnel might be an oncoming train. And you could actually use that as a metaphor. Exactly <laughs> why I did. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you for picking up what I was putting down. So, yeah, Hazel, you see these guys come in and some somewhere in the middle of your this is a revelation coma 
Hey! Is it good or are you drugged? Right. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Why does it only have one of those? Right, thank you. Now we're on the same page. Wow, you really have fit in already. <laughs> Get over here, you goofball. What is it? What is this? I'm just offering it to Clarity. Oh. Well, I'll have one of those. The dwarf just ambles up and looks somewhere between Remy and Darwin and goes, did you lose your leash? <laughs> you are awful. <laughs> Jason, you are awful. Well, she didn't cause too much trouble. I just gave her something to occupy her mind while she waited for you, Lord. Occupy, disable, same difference. Freeze. Excuse me, we have a reputation. <laughs> he's, 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 he's giving you the um, somebody better make amends or either we're not serving you at all or, you're, or your drink is going to get spat in. Um, look. And handing over another gold immediately. I'll have an Occupy, please. He's <laughs> 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 having gold thrown at him and then that and then just... Yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Make that two. Let's go ahead and just do a round. What the hell? Yeah. It's look looking at, at at I mean, yeah, okay, she's not in she's not in the armor plate, but particularly after the last couple of days, Remy is relatively well known and yeah, so sort of looking <laughs> to make sure that Remy actually wants an occupied. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dios me. Or whether she wants something a bit more hardcore. <laughs> no, she'll take something light while they're on business. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a round of strawberry occupied. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've named it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I've heard worse names, I suppose. I mean, strawberry occupied. Uh. <laughs> and you're amazing. So yeah, basic basically. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, no, unfortunately, yeah, Torin's still on the stage. Uh, apparently, we're supposed to catch him between performances, and that kind of went nowhere. And because he's a fairly popular fixture, nobody's given up their seats anytime soon. That's Just fine. Hovering around the bar. Yep, I will stand. Trying to. Be you know if as people are coming up, if any, people need to need to order something, I'll shift you know and get make make room you know typical typical bar etiquette because I'm not stupid. But, uh. Yeah, basically to avoid the, the the people actually coming to order a drink, there are surprisingly few because you know mid performance nobody really wants to mm. miss anything. Um, you can just sort of cram yourselves into a corner and either watch the performance or discuss, I don't know, how the hell you're going to apologize for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, first we buy him a drink. At least. <laughs> but later. <laughs> and I'm definitely chipping in. I'm definitely, I mean, you know, definitely, uh, you know, tossing some gold into the box, obviously. Yeah. Um, well, you've... The, the the occupieds are eight silvers per, but Hazel's apparently purchased Nye's and her own with a two silver tip. Which, you know, makes for the, the two gold. So those of you who are buying either mark eight silver or a gold if you're tipping off your personal funds. I'm reminding you of this now because one of these days, we're not going to have a lovely Lindira actually mm -hmm. keeping track, and some of you are going to have to pick that up in terms of party <laughs> funds. Hey, I'm yep. personally nominating. I'm personally nominating Antheus. Yeah, it's like I've already started tracking both, but 
having an ante is do that primarily <laughs> be a lot safer. Well, uh, but, but to, to be fair, that's more of an in-character thing. Yeah. Yeah. Of, of, of all of you, I think I'd trust Froseth with the money. If it, if it couldn't be clarity, <laughs> yep. I'd, I'd be trusting Froseth with the money. <laughs> we're running. Wait, we're, we're trusting the rogue and then the person who may have taken a vow of poverty? <laughs> uh, that means he won't waste it. Exactly. No, oh, he's, 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 he has spent responsibly. Um, he was actually the first one who actually asked um, can we take money out of party funds for my weapons? <laughs> Which is why I thought of him, really. And I'm not the really the stealing money kind of rogue, and more <laughs> the stealing books kind of rogue. <laughs> and in all fairness, we would more or less decided that half the reason that she was still mostly running around largely poor in the middle of podunk nowhere uh, Baronsveer was because oftentimes she wound up sitting in these plush residences she'd broken into reading the books and petting any dogs cats mm -hmm. etc that happened to be passing so she didn't tend to take all that much it's just I have this I have notes I have oh somebody waking up but cat. <laughs> Bye, kitty! Boom, out the window. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Most adorable and dorkiest rogue in all of existence. It's nice to see somebody uh, uh, busting the stereotypes wide open. So, yep. four gold off of party funds? Oh, that depends on if people are buying oh, I, their own drinks. I just, yeah, I just went ahead and uh, did mine. Yeah, yeah so I Hazel, mine off. Hazel, Hazel bought hers and Nye's with her own funds. Uh, it looks like Froseth and uh, Darwin did the same. Um, I am kind of assuming that Remy is following suit. Because this isn't really a party expense. Yep. This is... All right. This is you could theoretically have water or nothing at all if you didn't want. So. Yeah. Got it, got it. <laughs> I've already gotten that and, clarity to buy a drink. That and having having tried it and uh, like and yeah, you know, I'm like, ooh, yeah, this is worth a fair bit. Whoa, why my sorry, my camera went. Okay, yeah. there it goes. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, Dar Darvin is finally understanding why Hazel was having the reaction she was having when he gets here. Yeah, it was like, oh, oh, that's it. Ooh, okay, fair enough, Hazel. <laughs> By the way, I'm bravo and actually making it here. <laughs> I'll admit, I wasn't sure you were going to. <laughs> hey, I was there for the alley, remember? Point! <laughs> <laughs> You've improved. This is meant to be a compliment. First, it's probably enjoying the hell out of this, because, I mean, frozen drink. This is kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Nye has probably never seen anything like this before in his entire life. So it's like, it's not winter. Why is there snow? Why have they put <laughs> alcohol and strawberries in it? And why does it taste good? What? What's going on? Basically, <laughs> more, of, more of these strange but lovable non-forest people. Basically. <laughs> I think the poor man is going to have a far easier time at Hearth Home yeah. than he is in a big city. I'm trying to... Sorry, I'm trying to just my camera. Okay. I'm, I'm trying not to watch because it's right in the middle of my screen and I keep Oh, I, getting... I'll stop. Well, no, I, I, I understand why you're doing it, so I'm just trying to keep my focus elsewhere. Well, in, I'm done. Anyway, after uh, about... Uh, another half hour of musical stylings uh, clearly if if you are an established bard they keep you know you stay on for more than just the one mm -hmm. song and there there's 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 one or two that darwin remembers as favorites and some he's never heard before um there's a kind of a middling range length one uh, about uh, a a group called the Brass Arrows and uh, a chimera they took down. Um, 
glances over at Remy and uh, with a little bit of a bow, he uh, launches into the Carter's Combine escape from uh, the Southern Lands. <laughs> it seems that he's trying to have Carter remembered as more than just that asshat for the sake of Remy and Adry <laughs> and the few others who came out and just went, fuck a bunch of this. <laughs> but eventually his set comes to an end and you know the, the requisite applause and that's when you probably kind of want to move because the mm -hmm. money boxes are in the corners and there's kind of a rush. Yeah, and I'm trying to navigate my way through as well to go ahead and drop a gold or two in the box of my own volition. Well, you were kind of you were kind of scrunched at the corners to leave room at the bar for customers. So, yeah. oh, the corner that we were in was near one of the boxes. Oh, well, the, there was a box in each corner. Ah, fair. Okay. And yeah, people just go to the one that's readiest to them. Right. So it really is just plunk a couple and then uh, well, I'll, I'll get pull, the heck out of dodge. I'll, I'll pull the map back up to uh, remind you. Thank you. Oh, hey, it's a map. Yeah, it'll it'll depixelate in a minute. Yeah, I figured you guys were around about there. Ah, okay. So if you do, you know, if you drop some money into that corner there and then sort of scrunch yep. out to the wall. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, because you you were watching from that corner of the stage being up there. Mm -hmm. This because I keep forgetting that Ben hasn't seen any of this yet. It's a... No, I've seen this. Oh. I, th I thought it was the other one you'd seen. Well, maybe. Well, uh, well either way. I will, I will demonstrate. Now, that is the Bravo's boast. Right. That's, that's where the food that wasn't supposed to be eaten happened. Yes. This is a completely different place. Which is where I heard the song that I found hard to believe. Ah, yes. Right. So you and, have and seen a little that. bit okay, scary. Cool. Okay, cool. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a, now I know where we all are. So yes, Torin is sort of going. So dinner went better or worse than you expected? Oh, much better actually. Uh, my apologies. Uh, well, it's, it's quite all right, I suppose. Uh, it means that uh, our uh, our conversation doesn't have to be curtailed by uh, my being called in for a second set. Um, I've managed to. Uh, effectively book one of the snugs for our use uh i just need to punt the people who are in it out uh a moment and he, he basically goes into that one and a, a, a group of people arguing good-naturedly over various winnings at what appears to have been a card game um come tromping out and torrent sort of gestures is gestures to the law to be. I waved. I just kind of give them a wave as they walk by. First thing, um, I heard the general gist about your not quite sea hags, but I believe I was promised that one as a performance piece later, so details so I can make a song out of it. Oh, um, <laughs> well, it can. It started with a tidal wave on all of us, except the one smart enough to spread out quickly. Claire it looks at him, points and at clarity. <laughs> I would expect the one that gave Hazel time the tongue lashing of his young life, no less. <laughs> there was also a bubble of blackness. Um, someone other than Darwin got turned into a thing. Burn. Silent image, Sandpiper. And I spent a lot of time running around with a crossbow. And, uh, let's see. It was quite terrifying. I spells, it just fizzled it, them. Yeah, it, at it, me. it, me as well, uh... And... Actually, it never counterspelled anything of yours. You're right. 
the thing that you never remembered from a rules out of character point of view is that counter spells are a reaction and you only get one reaction per turn. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. clears throat> um but yeah, it, it it got stabbed quite a bit. Remy uh marshaled forces and came in for a powerful hit. Uh what was what was that? I don't remember. What was it? You, I just, I was kind of, well, I was sort of, I didn't quite see quite did you see what talk, you did. He's talking about the Divine Smite. Yeah, it's, or is it the sword, the smiting power of Tritharian? <laughs> ah, okay. I just, I just saw a whole lot of boom around the edges of the thing because we were on opposite sides pretty much <laughs> it was big it was freaking huge it was, it was like a giant angry ball of seaweed and hate I, I however I do understand that uh, my fellow dragonborn was the one who got in the killing blow yes actually Froseth you you that was beautiful <laughs> that truly was you do you 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 describe well, from from my point of view, I managed not to get knocked on my ass by the tidal wave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. It, it that tends to hurt the tail when you get knocked on your ass. Believe me. Well, we were all hit by it, but yes, to be fair, a lot of some of us didn't get actually knocked down. But yeah. Uh, after trying someone somewhat ineffectually to hurt it, I did manage to stun it. Which I believe turned our elven friend here back from the sandpiper he was back to his normal form. And then while it was stunned, I created a whip of water and I th snapped its neck, drove its head into the ground. Uh, it was the, a beautiful thing with, to with, see. With all the humility one would expect. Mm. I do have it was amazing. I, I do have a question, however, given some of the facial expressions I'm seeing around the table at the mention of the stun. How far up was your elven friend? Oh, when he <laughs> about silent image. Was image was my there point was of view. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. I still got like half the dagger in one hand, and I'm gesturing. The other hand. Who gave you that? <laughs> I bought it. I also bought one for Nye. He can probably hold his liquor a little better than you can, because you're starting to slop. You're, I've yeah. actually got a runnel of strawberry slush down. Hey, 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 don't wait. No waste in that. That stuff's really good. Carefully <laughs> trying to set it down. To try, to, try to remember to put things down before you start waving your arms. Uh, if you need a reminder, five place settings. I was actually about to mention that. Although I was just going to go with crockery. But that works too. Uh, rev nip. <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether introducing uh, her to... Um, Coffee cocktails would be a good or a bad idea. Wait, they do oh this kind of thing with coffee. Uh, I that, think at this time of night, it's not a very good idea. Yeah, they do, actually, they do it's, 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 I'm going to try that. It's not going to be today. It does tend to balance out. Just, just anyway. Um, Torin, um, while we one thing while we were fighting um, the ocean hag, uh, the uh, refuse, I guess. Um, some of the body parts could be recognized as be probably belonging to residents of the village between here and the... Chatterstone, yes. Yeah, Chatterstone, yes. Um, so I wanted to see if, you know, we could either like get a message to them or possibly go and just say, hey, it's been dealt with. Well, I don't know if you remember my saying, but I don't communicate with my village very much anymore. 
but um, I mean that that that's by choice. Uh, right. They're they're not they're not bad people. They're just a little mm. uh, provincial, narrow-minded, and occasionally ever so slightly bigoted. Mm. So probably not visiting, but at least we no, can get a message. No, no, they're they're not bigoted in the way you think. Oh, oh. <clears throat> You may remember my mentioning the difference between, um, I hate these terms, uh, pure-blooded dragonborn versus ah, not so much. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're very much of the opinion that even, even the worst, most like unto their forebears chromatic uh, dragonborn mm -hmm. is better than one who has not turned out either the chromatic <laughs> or metallic uh, physical representation. Right. So you're all fine. Right. I just right. don't like talking to them. That's fair. That's fair. I just wanted to make certain that you know we wouldn't be No, no. But causing by all any means, issues. There, there's not uh, uh, as, as again, I mentioned, we, most dragonborn communities are perfectly happy to have visitors. Uh, they keep to themselves mostly because a lot of people tend to get frightened by the height and the teeth and the claws and the ability to breathe death at them, that kind of thing, you know. People are funny that way. Yeah, yeah, no, which, you know. Uh, but no, yeah. you're you're perfectly welcome to go visit. I don't imagine you'll be wanting to stay very long. There's no, there's, there's no. not much there's not much to see. No, I just a little bit of I, a dull place. It seemed like the it seemed like the right thing to do to just go ahead and let them know in person. Hey, this was dealt with. You probably don't need to worry about it anymore, but you know, keep an eye out. Uh, to be honest, though, I doubt they were worrying about it all that much in the first place. Uh, the the cliffs mm -hmm. are a a relatively dangerous existence in general. There's always something. Fair enough. I don't know. It just seemed like seemed like a polite thing to do. I guess I don't know. Anyway, well, but I, again, that's up to you. But I I imagine you'll get a blank look and a thank you. <laughs> it seems it's a, a, three or four miles seems a ways to go, particularly given the cliffs for a for blank that, stare. Yeah. You're probably right. You're probably right. Anyway, you can always send, <clears throat> you can always send a message with a trade caravan. Anyway, yeah, I may do that instead. That was that was really the only question I had with uh, everything that we went through. So, well, it sounds like quite the tale, and uh, thank thank you, Nye, for the silent images. That's uh, always helpful to a, a songwriter and storyteller to actually be able to see. Uh, one thing oh. uh, I would... Oh, did I actually show you what it looked like? I was going to ask, now if you, if you could. Uh, I, was, I, was going, I, was, I was going to ask, as part of that, perhaps you could show me uh, Furseth's finishing move. <laughs> Silent image. I'm going to have some fun with that one. Brief out, of brief out of character hands. Don't know if you spotted, but uh, Furseth got paid an extra 10 gold for that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was the second question. The first question was, who handles the party funds? You got some significant party funds, by the way. And the mm -hmm. second question was, who dealt the killing blow? Everyone just... Pointed it for us, then. <laughs> and he, he, he got he got the he got the extra gold for that. Yep, yep. When yeah, I put uh... up the silent image, Clarity goes, "Oh, I wish I had seen that." <laughs> <laughs> Bubble of blackness. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. That, I, that, that actually... I take it that um, you're not entirely sure about your racial abilities. Pardon me for being so blunt. Well, I had heard rumors of what um, tieflings can do, but I assumed a lot of it was um, hyperbole from people saying you shouldn't associate with those kinds of people. They will um, turn Steal your, your inside, yeah, inside, turn your inside, out. outside, and yeah. Well, if you if you if you happen to be spending a bit more time in Belarus, uh, 
there's a number of tieflings that I could uh, point you in the general direction of. Uh, I believe that you've met at least one of them. Um, Narvin's gotten quite up close and personal. <coughs> <laughs> yes, I, I do recall. I Turning had, slightly pink. I had to shunt him in that general direction, I do remember, but uh, I understand mm -hmm. Maeva Sweetwater's going to be in town for at least another week oh. and a half. Um, she's she's very much in tune with the abilities she's got. Uses them quite well, if memory serves. In any case, uh, just just a thought, because you might actually, now that you're associating with tieflings that aren't being looked at as evil, you might uh, benefit from hearing directly from another tiefling what's hyperbole and what's just natural for you. It, it'd be like if nobody had told... That That's actually a very good question. First, Seth, how did you find out you could breathe ice? <laughs> um... just something that kind of happened. <laughs> I can see you don't want to tell that particular story. I can so, wait, for us, that. Seth, was it, is this your version of feathers? You could call it that, yes. Ooh. I imagine okay? him trying to cool down some soup and just really doing it <laughs> too well. <laughs> given, given the size of the cone that our breathing goes, I imagine him freezing the entire table. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope everybody was okay. Thankfully, there was no one in front of me. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, see, see, that, that's the difference. I was told, then again, I imagine that being, you know, having, having lightning breathed to people is going to be a lot worse. That would be an interesting thing to witness. But I was raised from by, a great distance. I was raised by, I was raised by Bronze Dragonborn, though, so I had somebody to actually tell me that this might be a thing, and they actually took me out to practice. Hmm. I imagine that, uh, yeah, first Seth, as a as a youngling, went out and did the same on his own. Yeah. After the soup. After the soup. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just glad that, yeah, like you said, I'm glad that no one was sitting in front of you. But, yeah, I'm, yeah, that... I, I don't know why I never made the connection between my experience and your experience. But yet another thing we share in common, oddly enough. In any case, I understand that you are looking for the components to give to a steel singer to create at least one dragon slaying weapon. Mm hmm. This is going to be an interesting one for you. And I look very forward to the songs that will arise from it. Now you know that the five types of chromatic and metallic dragon, and the five heads of Tiamat, all have a certain quasi-elemental affiliation. You have fire, yeah. you have ice, you have lightning, you have acid, you have poison. Okay. Now... Because of the nature of this, the steel has to resonate with a dragon, as it were. Not a specific dragon, but the, 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 the core essence of the dragons, which means that they need to resonate from within with those elements to a certain degree. Which means there are a few components that you will have to bring to your steel singer in order to create the metal needed to make the blade. Or properly bless or tune it. Or I'm not. I, 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 not really my sort of thing. Artifice is. Artifice is what I weave in 
notes an error, not actually make. You have at least three of the components among you already. You need the blood of the dragon. No matter how dilute, it still works. A drop will do. Just oh. looking at Froseth. Oh! You will also need ice from a living being. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're still looking at Froseth. So yeah. Dragon, yeah. Dragon's ice. And fire from the gods themselves. You can either turn to your cleric, your paladin, or your steel singer, as I understand it, for that one. I'll bet. Yeah. Hmm? It's the other three that are going to be interesting for you. Now, yes. the, now, poison is obviously fairly easily had. But it can't just be any poison, and you can't just buy it. The whole point of this is that you're giving something. It's a kind of a sacrifice. It's the kind of thing that makes anything that in some way appeals to higher powers. Greens are the most insidious, subtle, nasty little beings. And their metallic counterparts tend more towards the um, convoluted in their conversation and speech. You need a suitably nasty poison and you need to take it from the creature that produces it. Oh, fun! Your best bet. Now, th basically, this is something that any reptilian creature will that that produces poison will do and you know there are ones all over the place and if you can manage to get to uh, the right places you can actually uh, get rather extensive uh, teaching about that kind of thing. The one I would recommend is the Amphis Banner. What? It's a very large snake with two snake. heads. One head has very standard poison. The other... Uh, and that one's a little bit insidious. If you can't shake it off on your own, it keeps chipping away at your health that not even he the healing of the gods will fix. Until I you've shrugged the poison off. It's down to your strength of will. Uh, uh. But it but if you want if you want your dragon slaying weapon as powerful as you can make it, that would be what I'd go for. So okay. That's got two heads. Stop but where? making sorry. Out of character hand, stop making that fucking face at me. I actually came up with that bloody thing first. So, shut oh, up. <laughs> shut up. Take that smirk off your face and let me finish. Thank you. In Great. character reactions. In. Thank you very so, much. Uh Got two heads. Are, does, does, are they both on the same end of it, or, or where's the other head? No. One, two, body. Magical creature. We're gonna run into one that's basically the ocean hag all over again, aren't we? What? Mm, huh? No, what? I'm just no. guessing based on our previous experiences. Every time we have gone for looking for a thing. It's always been something crazier than what we were expecting. I'm not. Oh. And the thing is, I'm not even saying you have to go for one of those. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm hey. just talking based on our luck. You can go for you can go for any 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 venomous snake you like. I am just saying that if you want something more <laughs> than something that does a little bit of extra damage to dragons, then you're probably going to want to go for the strongest possible mm. thing. Particularly right. if you want to get more than one weapon out of it. Right. Now are you exactly going, right. Very good now point. are you going to stop whinging, little girl? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Acid. Oh, we're just speculating. He's just looking. And Sorry. Dar Darvin, Darvin knows that look. It's the, you're interrupting a performance. Sorry. Acid. Mm. Plenty of creatures spit acid. Um... Honestly, pick one. Um, as the ballads and research and things that I've done have suggested that you might get really good results with chunks of gelatinous cube. Huh. Hmm. Be careful of gelatinous cubes, they're horrible. They sound no. ridiculous and probably are exactly as you describe <laughs> that, that they're, that's gonna they're, be they're essentially um sentient to a point more or less made of gelatinous acid and they're 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 transparent they're see-through so you can't necessarily tell that they're there unless they have bits of adventurers stuck in them oh lovely uh, bits of adventure. Mm -hmm. Mel melted bits of adventure, usually. Usually bits of armor and, and weapons and things that the gelatinous cube couldn't eat. Oh, cubes uh. of blasphemy. Given the number of things you claim are blasphemy, uh, not quite. Try to imagine a cube of that black sludge. Yeah. Mm. So let let's just stick with a cube of sentient acid. But there's any number of other things that you could go after. Uh, do your research, etc. Lightning. You need bottled lightning. Not as difficult as it sounds. Agriff oh. more or less runs on it. Huh. You uh, Okay, yeah. You, however, would probably need to have words with Calatel about that. And they will probably riddle you for it. I wouldn't go into it expecting to beat Calatel. I think you know the reasons why. Well, <laughs> mm. yeah. More, you would need to rise to the challenge of answering Kalatiel's riddles and tell ones of your own to Kalatiel's proxies to see if you can stump somebody. That's how Cal's riddle contests tend to work. Huh, okay. There are probably other ways of getting bottled lightning, but um, various the artificers that I know I don't really want anywhere near me, and I think that uh, while I understand that your relations with the governor are f amicable, um, you probably don't want to ask him for too much more than necessary. Hmm. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. It it probably would be more politic to make the efforts as much ourselves as possible. That was basically all that you need. Beyond that, it's the steel singer will know what to do with those elements as you put them together. Uh. The steel is theirs. The steel is always theirs. 
I understand that somebody blew uh, Lady Bree's cover. Looking at Hazel. The people oh. of the Steel Singers Return will not <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Is that what happened with the thing? I, I mm -hmm. it, 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 They started asking questions and I didn't know what to say. I just kind of flailed. You have been upending all manner of uh, previously held suppositions about... I should have hidden the hammer. I would have been less freaked out that way. <sighs> well, it's uh, definitely given people something to talk about. They... I mean, at the very least, we didn't reveal where <laughs> anybody no, was. That's... Thank you for that, Arvin. Mm -hmm. You do realize that the Goldendale accent is actually known to some people? Uh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm going to take, take the drink, move it aside, move it like aside, away, and then... <sighs> it's alright, you're... you're I, I'm not going to give you trouble over it. The Of course, the main reason I'm not going to give you trouble over it is because I know you are going to have to be the one to explain to Lady Bree. Yep. How, uh, and you might not get there until after the first emissary comes looking. Uh, we'll worry about that when we have to worry about it. Yep. Although now I think I'm more scared about walking back into walking back into her place than I am about facing a two-headed venomous thing. <laughs> it's just this muffled. She's gonna kill me. She is not going to kill going you. To... I think she's probably just that little bit too fond of you to actually kill you. You, you might, just may wind up. You might wish she had. You might watch a bit of time up on one of those hooks again. Well, no, it it strikes me hooks? that it uh, hooks as as I under oh, as yeah. I understand it, she was hung up from a coat hook by the back of her uh, hood. As far as these ones explain, no, the yeah. the main thing is, as I understand it, the thing that Miss Hearthheart does de the worst thing in Miss Hearthheart's world is to be a disappointment to those she values. Yeah, it is. You kind of have to understand that that is what you've done. It is, it is, it is, it is, uh, it is impetus for her to learn. And the saving grace there, Hazel, is you did not do any of it intentionally. So, I mean, that does count. It does, however, mean she needs to learn to be more careful. Although, I can't necessarily think of anything else she could do or say in that vein. Right. Edit it talking. It puts a puts a hand on, on Hazel's forehead and pushes her back up into her chair. <coughs> Slide trying to drink back in front of you. Yeah. It's trying to make you feel a little bit better there, Hazel. It's working. Good. You didn't do terrible bad. You'll be better. You're still better than you were mm -hmm. at the be at when I first met you. <laughs> I mean, all you, of us are. You, com you comported yourself quite well, considering your shock with uh, with 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 y'all. Yeah. You didn't put your hand near your weapon. Cuts eyes to Remy. <laughs> oh! Oh, you heard about that. <clears throat> uh, he he hold, holds up a bronze hand. We're kind of friends. We're probably very distantly related. We talk. He did mention that we met for drinks. I know he did. Of course I heard about it. By the way, and holds out a hand to Darwin. Mm -hmm. For shaking. Very well done. I don't praise lightly. But you handled that 
particularly well. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Um, thank you. <laughs> it looks at Clarity. He thought you were adorable, by the way. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a popular well, opinion. She's not wrong. She is adorable. I mean... I Oh, you should see, you should see her when she's hanging out with um. Damn it, I lost the name. Norman. Is <laughs> that a very tenacious <laughs> badger? badger? Yes. Yeah, oh. As a matter of fact. We haven't seen him in a while. It might just pop out furry things. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> just three random furry things. Yeah. Two, a one, a two, a one, and Norman. <laughs> what he was two, two one, wow. three. <laughs> So we have, we have Wendell the Weasel, Gwendolyn the Giant Rat, and Norman the Badger. So just sorry, sorry, it's just, 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 just Wendell. Nope. Hi, Wendell. <laughs> uh, hi, <laughs> Gwendolyn. Nope, sorry, not you either. Hi, Norman! <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Norman! Snuggles up to Clarity while the other two are just I'll... sort of bumbling around her feet, and Torin's just going. You pulled, I'm picking them all up. You pulled a weasel <laughs> and a giant rat out of a bag in a bar. It's a private room. It <laughs> yeah. actually it actually yeah. doesn't have a door. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God, the face! Oh, my God, the face! <laughs> I'm just getting torrid going. I'm going. And Darwin is crying. I'm just going crying. to He's go laughing so hard. and talk to the barman about this. Because you're going to have to take them out again. Dawn's a long way from now. I'll handle it. Does anyone want another drink? Actually, who has a sweet tooth? Yeah. What's a sweet tooth? It means, <laughs> it, it, means, it means you really enjoy sweet things. I mean, I like clarity. Uh, from, from, a, from a gastronomic point of view. <laughs> oh, well, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, you are so not her type. I like sweets, yes. I have something that will very much interest you. It's a bit of a specialty of the house. I'll be right back. You you have a few minutes of basically clarity. I'm trying to reach down under the under the table. Oh no, she's picked them all up and they're they're sort of. (laughs) Oh, you got. Um, I've got arms full of giant rat. Weasel, weasel and badger. And badger. Well, the weasel is right. curled up around your neck to make things a little easier for you. <laughs> I'm just off, Norm- I'm reaching over like offer scritches. I thought when Norman was a hedgehog's name. No, it's Norman, Norman is a badger's name. Hello, I am Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Norman sort of told Ted at night and just sort of feet paddles. Paddles <laughs> <laughs> in the air. <laughs> It's just there's a lot of badger. I attempt to pet. Norman <laughs> Emphasis on attempt. Norman will will accept pettings. Eventually can... oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say Gwendolyn can sit in my lap if you need the room. Okay. <laughs> sit back a little bit giant. <laughs> this is sort of the rat looking up. But <laughs> it's got pretty eyes. So cute. She actually does. I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> I've never seen a giant rat before this up close, so it's like, oh wow, this is quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> Torin comes back with their sort of. They're, they're, they're sort of uh, cognac uh, glass type, you know, really 
sort of almost fishbowl like but smaller and the liquid inside doesn't seem to be liquid it's a very pale reddish pink and inside are it's like trapped in in there like well like adventurers in a gelatinous yeah, cube gelat are are <laughs> Are squidgy bears. It's basically large jello shots. <laughs> oh dear God! We we God. have we have a we have a contact that uh, keeps. Uh, uh, did, did, did you really think that a place like your Edwina's could keep going without some exports? Oh, this yes. says a lot what? about home. That I didn't know, and every time I go somewhere, I find out new stuff, and it's kind of awesome and kind of scary all at once. Uh, in in all fairness, uh, it it's part of the reason why uh, your family, with its altogether flailiness, is still permitted in there. I come to find out, um, at least prior to uh, the young dwarf of your family joining the family. Um, effectively, uh, in order to gain themselves the goodwill of the populace and to ensure that no one was going to lose livelihood owing to the tax situation. Mm -hmm. Because you may have noticed that these places They've managed to keep going despite their actual income not changing all that much. Mm. They, they keep on, at least in part, because some small, under-the-table, as it were, exporting happens. Uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the adult half-orc con? Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, some of the things he brings to Gray's Inn end up on the train over here. Not much. But it's the same reason you get uh, coffee and chocolate now and then. Mm. <laughs> Which sort of reminds a few of you, sugar and spice before we go home. Sugar and spice. Sugar and spice before we go home. Remember that. But, yes, I, 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 thought, I thought you might want to try what... Uh, the, they don't send enough of the squidgy bears. Um, yes. Uh, it, to to sell in in the local sweet shops, they just bring them here, and uh, they get turned into uh, jelly bowls. <laughs> Inventive. Uh, yes. Anyone who tries them, there's uh, mm -hmm. they're basically a. Uh, they're, they're, they're strawberry jello shots with gummy bears inside. <laughs> oh, oh no, dear. They, they actually come with spoons. It's more. Oh, they do? Okay. They're, I didn't know. They're, like, they're, 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 they're weaker than the average, so it's more like rather than right. a jello shot, it's a lighter jello It's actually jello. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay. Al alcoholic jello. Gotcha. Like, ooh, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I, I, I thought that uh, something a bit more pleasantly interesting uh, might go well for what I needed to mention to you next. Oh. As uh. you're aware, uh, part of the reason we were going to be trying to meet up was me looking into anything to do with that black toxic nonsense. And, well, I think you may need a far more dedicated researcher mm. than me. I, I was actually at the library and I tried to speak to a young, young diviner in training, Sullivan. He said something about how the fates were not talking to him properly and until they did, he didn't trust himself to be able to help. Mm. So that didn't get me anywhere. Mm -hmm. But to track down some of what I've been hearing about, I need to be out there, not 
in libraries, but I know that the answer to some of it are in there somewhere. Um, I'm recalling from uh, recent tales, etc., that, and partially from from Sullivan, that this black ooze, this this extra planar psychological virus or whatever it is has a, a sentience that's only showing up in fragments because it's asleep or something kind of kind of like the mm -hmm. tales of the great old ones mm -hmm. also mention of various powers and yes, I say various, even though there's only been one mentioned thus far, that want to try to take its power for their own purposes. Mm. I couldn't tell you how, because so far outside my arcane expertise. Mm -hmm. But... There's more than one sentience to this, from what I've been able to understand. Mm. And there are forces out there that are trying to essentially collect enough of it to separate it from its original dreaming sentience and give it a, an awake, conscious sentience that they can control. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's just sounds like several layers of no. And Partic several layers of blasphemy. Particularly given how they're going about the malleable consciousness. Who, who would play with fire to that extent? Uh, I suppose they haven't mentioned uh, Empress Tia. <laughs> But there's another player. At least. Oh. So. Oh no. Main reason I know about this is because, again, only whispers that I need to track down, but. They're. They didn't want to give a, even a trusted lieutenant this in case something went wrong. They needed still need someone malleable, someone broken enough to effectively take any power that might fix them. Mm. Broken in what way? <clears throat> I... That, I'm not really an expert on breaking people. All I know is that not very long ago in the grand scheme of things we'd be talking possibly a decade maybe less where uh, your Empress Tia decided to I don't remember the exact phrasing, but uh, copy a good idea. Um, uh. Apparently, it involved essentially taking someone and breaking them. And I don't know how, but apparently it was meant to take a very long time. And the main reason this is coming up is because about uh, month ago, maybe less, um, this is, it, it, it took a few weeks for the story to actually reach me, uh, partially because it didn't happen on this continent. Um, the original player, the, the mystery player, lost theirs. I don't know what they lost. But I'm assuming it's whoever or whatever they were trying to break. Mm. 
That actually makes me wonder. Would what? Th- these mystery player people have anything to do with, and I'm pulling out the little scrap of, of cloth with the cult symbol on it? That's the. Quite possibly, but I, I, I need to do a lot more traveling in order to, uh, in order to work that one out. Mm. But it's coming For... from it's coming from similar quarters to that. I, I admit. Mm. Sorry, you were saying. They, no. they lost, as in they lost control, or they lost, as in the person died, or as in the person's missing somewhere. I think. Uh, I think that someone dying would be failed experiment. So probably so missing. Or taken from their control. No, it's same. Six of one, half a dozen I, of the other. Okay. As I finish my okay. Jello shot in one giant spoonful. Yeah, five. The the the, the five of you. God, for the love of God, give me an intelligence check. Go. Oh. Which five? Uh, everybody but Nye, who gets it. Oh, okay. Eighteen. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it's it's actually only I Clarity doesn't want to see it. Clarity really doesn't want to see it at this point. Um, Remy is the only one who actually figures out that didn't Nye get pulled out of the kind of thing that would break someone a couple of about months ago? A month around, ago. Around, around, around about <laughs> that time. <laughs> and the time that given that intelligence role, the time frame of the one that Empress Tia was taking kind of matches up to the story Clarity was telling about her brother being missing under very similar circumstances. So Ooh. you guys are you well, guys are trying to figure out what the fuck Nye and Remy's just going Oh, this is getting complicated. <laughs> so what is getting, com- getting complicated? The person they were trying to break. What was this supposed to be a repository for the power, or some sort of way for them to wield the power, or some sort of danger to other people? This, you see, these are the kinds of questions that are why I need to. That you need, you need a dedicated researcher, and I need to be out in the field. As I understand it, they were trying to take an existing consciousness and divorce it from, I say human concerns, but you know what I mean, Um, morality, reality. Uh, You say control, it's not that simple, they were trying to break somebody down to uh, I hesitate to say raw consciousness but the kind of thing that only really responds to certain things I suppose I like I say I don't know I'm not an expert on breaking people but I think they thought that if they got sentience to a certain mindset they would be in the right mental state to direct that power while still taking orders i think they're Mm. wrong let let's 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 go right there there are some powers that when you get them you eventually understand that you don't have to listen to anybody and that's even if that's if you can even still comprehend orders at mm. all. I don't know what they're trying to do. I need to be out there. I'm probably going to actually need to tour the Southern Lands, which I'm really hoping not to have to do again. But never mind. This is apparently important, particularly given the look on your face. Um, what? I I'm... think 
this, some of this sounds like it's got personal all of a sudden. And I don't think I need to be here for this one. Not until you're all comfortable with it. So I'm going to leave you to this. I've, I've given you just about everything I can at this point. I'm going to put another six gold behind the bar. Help yourselves to another drink. If you need me, I'm playing here every night for at least another week. Thank so you. So if you need to ask me anything else that you think of, right now I think that those two, pointing at Remy and I, know more about it than I or the rest of you, and just this once, propriety is taking over from my curiosity. <laughs> I hope to hear about it one day, but not mm -hmm. like this. Thank Stands you. up, gives a bow. And they won't give you any problems about the uh, about, about your little menagerie, by the way. Um, hmm. I have I have sold them as um, therapy animals. Your adventure yes. your your adventurers adventurers need therapy animals. It, it, is, it is known. I, I speaking I, of which, where is Flitty? Flitty's oh, back at the Flitty's still yeah at the back at the inn. Back at the Bravest Most. Flitty's being well taken care of. Uh, did you want me to bring anything to your little blue friend, given that he's laid up? You still have the cookies and the leftovers. From dinner. Oh! Uh, actually, uh, and I'll pull out uh, I, uh, the, the cookies. I don't know, if, did I have them, or did you have them? Uh, Hazel, had them. Pro Hazel, Hazel probably did. Uh, the cookies ah, and leftovers. Okay. Yes, uh, I, I, Hazel! I think I, I think I could I could I could use the walk and uh, wanted to say hello to Maury, Jed, Jazz, and Orin anyway. Besides, they almost never get entertainment in there. I may uh, I may brighten up their day with uh, a little bit of a ditty with your compliments. Mm -hmm. Gives a bow. You are amazing. Thank you. And as as I say, um, you might want to try the. the uh, mocha teeny. Just trust me. <laughs> and Torin exits. And as we are now at about that time, um, yeah. we'll take the five minute break and uh, Nye and Remy can decide how they're going to explain what they've figured out to you guys who I would have just let come up with it the way Ben did if you'd actually said something before I made you make rolls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will see you in five minutes.
And we're back. Um, these guys have just had bombshell to end all bombshells dropped upon them, and only two of them have actually realized that it's happened. And Turin has left them in their snug with their badger and their weasel and their giant rat, and there, there are these glasses, the little just a triangular kind of things, um, full of a very dark brown liquid with what Hazel and Darwin mostly recognize as coffee beans arranged in a little flower pattern on the on the mm. top. The smell is chocolate, coffee, and vanilla. Basically, it's a it's a mocha espresso martini kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So chocolate liqueur, coffee liqueur, vanilla vodka. And really classy looking as well, just in the in the martini glasses. Mm -hmm. So what am I? Something's not clicking that should be clicking, but it. I, it with everything, it. I just. What? They tried to break someone. Someone tried to break someone. They it just. They lost this someone, or had them pulled out from under their control, about a month ago. This is just sounding a little bit familiar. <laughs> and Remy's getting it, and you guys aren't, so... I, I don't think I was around when this story was told. Um... When, oh yeah, no, uh, yeah, because you were came. you were having yeah they were gonna tell tell you but they got sidetracked so it's just as well Froseth didn't make that particular role because he doesn't know anyway and he he's very much okay wait a minute is I've missed something very large here <laughs> and I am it, the most lost here no comprehension at all <laughs> it comes to mind that sticking someone in a dark void might be a very effective way of doing that. And I got pulled out of there about a month ago. Oh! And you're not the only one! Clarity was writing yeah. in her notebook the entire time and then just stopped. Tick, tick, tick. Wait. Clunk. And now so, I get it. <laughs> no and clue, no clue, no clue gets it. Yeah, you're and you see the gears turning and then clunk. And my eyes go wide. Like, seeing through space and time again. Why? <laughs> Um, we look, and I, I, I'm, I'm doing it. Hazel, hold on a second. Froseth, damn it, that's right. You were okay. Um, nigh. Froseth doesn't has even less background of, on this because he wasn't there when you explained. When I met all of you, right? Right. So, so we're gonna need to go over this again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Long story short, I barely remember anything. What I do remember is a black void. And then I got pulled out of there by something offering me power. If I would swear loyalty to its patrons, I sensed something was wrong, but I figured it was my only chance to get out of there. So I did that, and I got out of there about a month ago. So basically, the creepy ass arch face saved your ass. Because remember, Flitty told you exactly what your patrons are. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, well, there, there was more detail than, than, than that. I mean, there was this there, Flitty and, and all, and. I mean. Darwin might want to explain because clearly Nye's in a bit of shock here. Yeah. It um, sounds very much like we figured out why I was there. Why you were in the void originally, but the ones that pulled you out didn't have anything to do with what we're dealing with. They, from what it's from the sound of it, it, it sounds like they actually got you out of what we were dealing with. They, yeah, they got me out of it, but possibly for their own reason. Well, of course, for their own reasons. They're well, not yeah. the same. What the, did they, they were again? Frosa uh, Archfey. 
uh, yeah, was, uh, was they're, they're like Deloy on on a lot <laughs> more power. Yeah, a whole skip some levels. <laughs> like, take Deloy and give her the powers of a minor deity. Uh, Clar- um, Hazel knows the word planetar. Like, like, let's say a planetar or, s- or s- solar. Solar, I think. So you, that's, you'd know if you see it. There's a lot of glowing. So that's that's the that, that's just a bit. The thing I was trying to get across was that you know you we don't have to worry about you suddenly spouting black stuff anytime soon. Is what I'm trying. Uh, to, is, that's what I was concerned about. Oh, and I, when I wonder, I mean, not that I think, but if they were preparing me for some sort of use. Right. What is right? Right. What what lingering effect might that have had? Um, cross cross with what the Lord and Lady have given me, mm. loaned me. Mm. Uh, this one for Remy. Uh, because decent roll, really decent roll. Um, nice not broken. You've seen broken. Nice not it. From what Torin was saying, they couldn't have touched him until he was properly broken. And Remy was the one that said, you know, the gods brought you to this point to try to stop this. Why wouldn't Archfey, who are a little lower down the food chain, why wouldn't they, they do the same if they could? Well, from what we've seen before, I think you're either infected, essentially, or you're not. There's a very clear line between the two, so I don't think he's going to well, explode on us. <laughs> it's pretty well, clear they didn't finish the process, but... Right, I mean, Nye... Nye's never seen... Infection. Froseth remembers, and Froseth also I'm... remembers that once, once the process starts, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. I... Uh. Yeah. I. 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 I'm with Remy on this. There. If. If it had started on you, it. It'd be showing already. <laughs> it oh, doesn't work. Oh, the, yeah. the, the, the what kind of showing? Oh, we've seen some things. <laughs> you'd either okay. be completely covered in it, or you'd have turned into a barnacle Something. abomination oh. thing. So, so you can you can see it. Okay, I yeah, no, it's blatantly freaking obvious. I have my problems, but yeah. Remy, and, you were you had Remy, a look on your face. And Remy just like, going, he has PTSD. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that that's his problems. It happens. Uh, whatever yeah. happened huh? messes with a person, but not to the end point. I don't. I would assume that these Archfey, did, since they didn't rescue him out of the kindness of their hearts, they rescued him for a reason, so they would know if he was going to be of use or not, and he would not be very useful if he was already past the point of no return. Ah. Oh, so, so, I mean, and, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Well, you all, not... you all know there's no coming back. Yeah. Um. Except for Nai, who's never actually seen any of this. Mm. <laughs> Poor sod. I saw... My mother. And there was no coming back from that. And you are nowhere even... No, you're fine. I haven't... Uh, he was... Torin was talking. The pers- They needed to break the person. I mean, I've not seen anyone... I mean, I've seen some people in taverns that were really, really down on their luck. But th- I think he seemed to be describing a level that was so far beyond that, and that is nowhere oh. near you. And we've lost oh. him. 
which is just as well because I imagine Hazel, who's who, for whom clarity is generally foremost on her mind, look at the face. Yeah, this my entire like the focus. As this was going on, I, I glanced over at Clarity and Focus just rashed it all the way over. I have just entirely missed what Darwin said. Clarity? Clarity gets up and looks at the animals. Stay with Hazel and just leaves. Wait, wait, what? Uh, where is Clarity going? To the library. And she's stealthing there. Okay, roll me stealth. Twenty-five. You, 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 basically, Clarity exits the snug, and by the time Hazel's peered out, is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and I remember because earlier, early in in all of this, I started to make the connection, and at that point, realizing Hazel's just, or I mean, Clarity's just up and gone, I'm, and I he wasn't, and I wasn't the only one. Christ, uh, crap, uh, 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 wow. Okay, her, her brother was taken, and oh boy. And I have, I, I, is Norman still there? The, all of them are, well, Norman, and Norman is looking agitated. The, the, other, the other two have, 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 have obeyed, more or less. Um, although, uh, Clarity is still technically wearing Wendell. <laughs> I have scooped up Norman and am just hugging and making noises. Paddling. Fight panic. <laughs> Okay, knowing Clarity, she, well, one, she's not, she's, uh, <sighs> we've seen that look before, um, like, she's got to go look some, find, re, like, read something, find something, like, there's information that she needs, like, right now, um, and I, what with, uh, what with Torin, everything Torin said, it's, he's, she's probably gone to the library, frankly. I mean, or I mean, Torin was saying there the information is probably in there somewhere. But uh, didn't 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 people also say that the uh, I mean, uh, and Andromeda said that the library was freaking huge with liminal space pockets. Yeah, <laughs> this is why Hazel's making noises of panic. I don't imagine Remy knows a terrible lot about the library, so... <laughs> uh, you guys know... You, you, all you guys know about the library is that it's probably open late, and it's... of unutterable size. Uh, do we want to go after her? Mm. Uh, I do! Would that help? Are we going to be able to find her? What do you mean? It's a library. Wait a minute. Oh. It's clarity. Right. Well, and it's that, and, and from, oh, God, and, and Andrew was saying it was, oh, boy. Um. Uh, first, Seth being a voice of common sense, however, um, given that she doesn't know what she's looking for, she'd have to ask for uh, help. If it's that big, so surely a librarian will have at least some idea of where to start. Yeah. Hi, Pim Pim. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> Harvey. Oh, hi, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new friend. Well, mostly we have a tail, but yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Just, just <laughs> a little tail. It's hard to see. That's just wonderful. Well, I saw, I saw him stalk across the bed. But anyway, yeah, yes, I, uh, anyway. I mean, so, if first Seth wants to aid and abet this madness, he can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Oh, God. I so, mean, she's likely I'm, gone to the library. She, with yeah. her bigot, supposedly is, she's going to need to ask someone where she needs to look for something. Oh, right. So, somebody might actually, 
Okay. Okay. So we could potentially, but at the same time, would she want us there? Because she's probably looking into her brother and stuff. It was more going towards the books than away from us. True. All right, so... And it's not something she's going to be able to do in a night, and you all know it. And we could, I don't know, bring her books and, I don't know, help her find things and be there. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's go... I'm I mean, making panic noises and glancing at the way out while still holding poor Norman. <laughs> I just don't know how we're going to get Norman and Gwendolyn in there. It's... Wait, he's still got... Uh, Wendell. Wendell with her. Oh boy. Yeah, let's go ahead and go because this might. Yeah. Yeah, you, you. I could put. And I'm already headed towards the door. I could There's put them to up and they're stuffed. When I made it to the door and I'm standing near it, basically vibrating. <laughs> I'm going to assume that you guys make your way. Um... Yeah. Clarity, when she was out and about on her own on the day, um, made it a point to, and there he goes again, uh, probably going back to his computer if it was mm -hmm. acting up. Um, Clarity, when she was with her evening of liberty, she made sure that she would have some idea of how to find the library, not to mention that it's a big-ass building, and it's kind of hard to miss. It is open, although it's only going to be open to the general public for another hour. <laughs> and they don't give a second look to Wendell. Because it's a magical university, and familiars are a thing. <laughs> oh, so, they're, so they're familiar with them? I will smite oh. you. <laughs> Party. Um. So sh she goes up to the. They're a clerk. Yeah, they're they're, they're well. There's a massive, uh, horseshoe-shaped mahogany desk in the middle of what appears to be an entry hall, and this is a magnificent place. And, you know, marble columns and marble floor and really cushy rug and it's a really beautiful place. There is currently one person at the desk. Um, probably a student doing work placement. Oh. Looks up at this you know, armored tiefling. Can I help you? Um, yes. Um, I need to research interdimensional or interplanar magic, um, where might I uh, do that? that? That that depends. There's a lot of planes, and, and it, are you trying to go there? Or are you trying to find out what they're like? Or are you trying to identify something that came out of them? There's... Um, trying to get something out. Okay, and, do you, and if this, do you know what plane you're talking about? Actually, technically, Clarity knows that it's not really in any of the planes anybody knows. Not really. Um, it was dark. Something dark. That does not narrow it down. Um, I... And it, from, from the looks of you, it's not the shadow fell. Um, you don't have a library card, do you? <laughs> Is that obvious? <laughs> well, I... I, 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 I remember seeing you, I think. Uh, and that kind of research project is the kind of thing that you... Anyway, all, the only reason that I ask is that we're only going to be open for another half hour to an hour for the general public, and anybody who hasn't got a library card will have to be asked to leave it around that point. Um, I can point you in the direction of some general literature, but if it's something bigger than you'd find in the average curriculum. There are some restricted sections that you also need a library card to get into. It's a thing. Um, How do I get a library card? 
Uh, we need an address, uh, name, obviously, uh, you know, where, where we do generally find you. Um, reference from a card holder generally helps. Do you know Andromeda Hothot? She's a regular, yeah, I think she's, I, I actually think she's doing some, some research on, uh, advanced nature magic. Uh, somewhere in the stacks out there. It, it need to be written for our our records, but she's definitely a card holder. Okay. All right. But yeah, we def we need you know uh, your address and you know obviously name and that kind of thing. But if you wanted to get started in the half hour you got, because it's not the kind of thing you can process overnight. I really am sorry. I can see that this is a, a thing that you really need to do. It's just, you know, some of this stuff is kind of earth shattering and Right. All right. Yes. Um, uh, you will, show me. You want to take the third left down that corridor and you're going to want to knock three times, then twice, then three more times and the door will open to where you need to go. All right, because it's not Thank always you. it's not always there. You'll 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 start hearing a chime when it's time to leave. Okay. Thank you for your help. No problem. Um, we look forward to receiving your application. Uh, don't worry about the term application. It's not like we turn anybody down unless they've committed uh, thaumaturgical crimes against nature or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody, anybody, think with I'm a, okay. Anybody with a familiar like that's probably fine. Oh, hi, Wendell. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then again, it's not not phased at all. But then again, this is like a po this is like a post grad student who's uh, trying to supplement whatever grant money he's got. Uh, when you know, Clarity heads down the corridor, and it really is the 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 shelves are about twenty feet high. To you know, to to just about the the par point oh, where Lord. ceilings start arching, um, the there are those little wheelie uh, ladders, and they seem to be moving more or less on their own. But eventually, she finds the door that she's looking for, and it's 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 actually a little door. She's probably going to have to duck a little bit to get in, just <laughs> set as so as to take up as little bookshelf space as possible. <laughs> oh wow! Let me knock three, two, three. Door opens, and inside is just it. it it's yet another uh, cavernous room. It looks to be a perfect circle. Um, it, it, there's bookshelves all along the outer walls, and in as well. So it's kind of like divided up into shelves as well. The the dome over top is, uh, it looks like the sky, but it's not always the sky you know. Hmm. From what little you've ever read, you think that it might be reflecting the sky on other planes. Sometimes there's uh, streaks of red fire that look like it might be the fire plane. Uh, sometimes it looks like the Feywild or what might be the shadow fell or but it changes but you still have enough light to read by it's more of a curiosity than anything else hello friends we're going to get acquainted and she starts looking through 10 minutes into this because obviously if Clarity's never had this much unfettered access to books in her life, and it's difficult to know where to start. I and mean, this, this is a long-term project. Uh, ten minutes in, these guys make it to the library, and they are seeing the library. Wow. That is a lot of books. That's a lot and of libraries. I've still got Norman. <laughs> And I've got Gwendolyn, and I'm like, oh, um... You're fine. So it, 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 it actually looks uh, maybe five years older than Darwin, uh, but a similar kind of look. The hair is a bit darker, and 
As he's looking up from what might be some kind of uh, dissertation or something. He's like, "Don't worry about it. Uh, we had we had somebody we had somebody with a weasel. You're fine." <laughs> Ah, did, go? Oh, yes. did this person with a weasel go? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, she was that's... looking for she she was looking for extra planar, uh, and points in the general direction. And now we've lost knobs. But God damn it, we're having a bad day for this. Uh, but <sighs> well, we'll just assume Remy's being quiet because this is this well, is so yes. far outside Remy's uh, sphere of interest that it's untrue. Uh, and it's, it's <laughs> just sort of. Point, points, points you guys in the right direction. Uh, and speak. barely has time to blink before everyone runs that way, I assume. And and, and basically, three time, knock three times, then twice, then three times, otherwise you'll end up in a completely different section! Got it! <laughs> Just the study group stampede. <laughs> study group stampede. If we didn't already have a group name, that would be that would be a good that would be a good try to keep it <laughs> the hell down this is a library <laughs> <laughs> oh god and even though he can't hear me i'm still going sorry <laughs> and just continual panic noises hey. Hazel. soft panic noises soft panic soft panic soft panic and but norman is still help 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 me help me help me Anyway, Agitated you, badger. You find you find the little door, and Forsyth is really gonna have to bend double in order to get through. <laughs> door opens, Reach, right. and there is that oh. big circular room divvied up. There is you you have to hunt around a little to find the little study nook, sort of crammed into various small bits of yeah you know, where they could fit study. Uh, desks right. in the, right. the shelves. Right. So that takes you right. another couple of minutes because this room is big with the changing right. sky dome. But eventually you find clarity. Probably books stacked everywhere. Yep, there's like behind a I, whole I, bunch I, already just guys, I, th I think she's behind that giant pile of books. Beeline. I'm all picturing of sudden, kind of sliding all... a book out of the middle and looking through the hole. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's, more, it's more that all of a sudden, ballistic hazel, and then you have a lap full of Norman. What are you doing here? We were wanting to make sure you were okay, because you just up and left, and we re we kind of put finally put two and two together and realized more of what some of all this meant. And we were worried about you. I'm fine. Just need to read. Okay. Um, are you... Uh, I mean, how long do you think you'll be? I mean, they won't let me stay here for an, more than another 15 minutes, mm. so... Oh, okay. I... Should probably put these back soon. No, they'll probably want to do it themselves. They've got a system. <laughs> Actually, um, one of the books kind of opens and it's kind of like a pop-up book, but it's a little magical message. We reshelve ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay, that was, that was neat. That's spooky. That is neat. Okay, well... Um, all right. Um, we'll be at, um, yeah, post. Well, um, it's, only, it's only 15 minutes. You guys could easily just wait in the lobby. Okay. They won't let you stay longer? No, not without an address and a library card and all sorts of things. Is there uh, any way we can help that? See the gears uh, spinning? Hazel, like, Hazel, okay. Hazel is looking like she's having an idea. Well... In fact, it's to the point where you can almost see the smoke coming out of her ears. Hazel? Silent image, ear smoke. <laughs> <laughs> How many spell slots do you have? <laughs> oh, I can do this all day. Silent image is a cantrip. 
For yeah. Oh, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Andre, remember the thing she's going to. I thought of it. And of course, uh, some of you will oh, remember that Torin said right. that they need you guys need a researcher. Well, okay. Well, Andrew needs. What was it? She was needing an assistant, and we need somebody to do research. This is a long-term thing, and that would mean that you would be here. You'd have an address. Yeah, I'd have an address. Uh, and you'd be able to. I mean, because this sounds like this is directly tied to your brother. Yeah. I am very carefully hugging Clarity to make sure not disturb any currently occupying things she's got in her hands. <laughs> oh boy, I don't believe I'm gonna. Be, I'm. I'm. I'm even thinking about suggesting this because because we're not staying. No, you're not. But you. Are. Probably, yeah. <sighs> do you ever have two very important things that you have to do and you want to do both of them, but um, one interferes with the other? And in this case... Yeah. There's other people working on one of them, but yeah, you're kind of the only one who's working on the other one. Right. And without what she can, what information she can provide you, <laughs> you're gonna have a harder time. Mm-hmm. I like back. Yeah. I mean, we're 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 going. I mean, yes, we're not staying. We're not ever. I mean, it's not like we're never coming back. I mean, we're going. We are to coming people. back. Yeah, um, that much is definite. Uh, you know, says the one who I mean, says says the one who at one point was like, "Ooh, we should move here," <laughs> on more than one occasion. Um, Doesn't Hazel remember that uh, Clarity is technically heir to Hearthhome? So one day yep, he's going to. I was back. about to bring that up, and one way or another, well, you and Hearthhome, that's the thing. What? You're coming wait. back eventually. Oh, wait. Do I know? Do we? Do yeah, I think could... I think you, you you guys put it together eventually. I think. Uh, okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Still family. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. I just we've lost so much already. So many already. Uh, in some form or fashion. And that's I not know. the but sorry. It, so it's, it, but even, even, even if it's good, <laughs> it's still like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, but no, Clarity, if, okay, let me ask. Like I said, and thank you, Ned, that was beautiful. That's great. Perfect way to put it. We are going to continue on doing one of the two things. You can continue to help with that from a fashion while at the same time taking care of the other. Yeah. I know that you, I know I know that early on I said we were going to also do that. Ah, but you still are. Who's gonna be doing the legwork when she finds out where he is? I'm getting there. <laughs> 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 but um you know, you'll be here, you'll be doing the research, you'll be finding out everything that you can here. We'll be out and about. We can act on what you find. So. It's just, I don't know. It feels like, you know, you, you all sort of throw around the word family. And mm -hmm. I know, I know that feels real and right to you, but it's I'm not there yet. And, um, Henry, Henry is my family. And, yeah. And yeah. 
Yeah. I can't. Of he's course. my home. He's, he is my home, and I cannot go home to Hearth Home until, until he is safe and not a part of this. This is not, this is not acceptable. I will yes. not accept that this is what his fate is. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Honestly, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised if you didn't, if, if, if that wasn't how you were feeling. Uh, so, yeah, no. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you're here. This is what you need to do. This is what you're going to do. We'll talk to Andre tomorrow. Um, Clarity actually knows that Andre's in the building. I know. I don't. Yes, that's why I'm <laughs> reminding. And no. one way or another, we'll bring Henry back to you. Mm -hmm. I just... You know, I, I just feel... I don't know. It's been a big half hour. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Um, but, um, I, I have this feeling of not wanting to abandon you all. You're not. You're not. You're going, to f you're going to fill a role that only you can fill. Yeah. I... You heard Preston saying any better than he just did. You're doing something only you can do. I'll do my best then. And I'll sing about anything. it. That's how I can do that. <laughs> That's what I can do. You'll definitely be able to do it. Yep. Seems like a boring song, though. <laughs> I'll, fi I'll, read. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. There's, oh, there, 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 there's, there's got to be ways he can he can turn it into something real cool, and he will, because oh, yeah. you're cool. You're real cool. You're the, you're the best, Rogue. I'm still being incredibly careful and trying not to jostle anything. <laughs> and Clarity, you like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna be this cornball. You're the only one that can provide us with Clarity. <laughs> So, I mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah. even, the, I mean even, uh, even the... Even the... Even the... Uh, even the bag of tricks pets are looking at you funny. Norman actually bleps at you. <laughs> the semi-conscious books just go, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing the books like popping up both sides going yeah. actually actually there, there's, 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 a, there's a row about five. four of them yeah three two point eight four <laughs> two point five yeah. like they can't all be win winners uh, um. <laughs> and you'll always be family yep Yeah. Yeah. So. Thanks. We'll wait for you in the lobby. We'll go back to the boast. We'll talk to Andre tomorrow, and go from there. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> well, given I'll... the length of time this discussion yeah. has taken, there's the, the lights dim, brighten, huh? dim, brighten. It's We're about that the... time, isn't it, books? What's with the light? The, 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 the books actually start they, they, they do the mirror mask thing flap 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 oh, oh that what? is <laughs> what's going on oh, they're putting themselves this away page. for the night <laughs> <laughs> speaking of pages closing time probably oh yeah speaking oh of that's pages, what that is oh. that one page you have from that book with well with me on it yeah I wonder if there's some way to track down the rest of that book. If there's some sort of magic thing that can reunite part of a thing with the rest of the thing. I will make well, note. Well, I thought, oh, you, oh, that was torn out. I thought, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I stole it. <laughs> oh, the rest of the thing is probably in someone's private library, isn't it? In another country. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's a magic spell to find things like a thing. So you can say, uh, who else would, you know, what are other copies of this book with this page in it? Assuming uh, it was just drawn by somebody else. Assuming it wasn't a one-off, yeah. I sort of remember what I was researching at the time. It was all related after all, but um, so maybe I can find it again. Yeah. So, the lights anyway. flicker a little quicker. Anyway. Okay, we need to go. <laughs> yeah. Now that I know what that is, we need to go. <laughs> All right. Pack up my things. We don't want to upset people you might have to deal with on the regular. I know. I considered hiding, but that's not a good idea. Not in a magical library. It's fucking <laughs> <laughs> Clarity, Sorry. if we set this up right, you won't have to hide it anymore. Old habits die hard, I think. Well, when, when, when you come out and are heading in into the lobby, you actually see uh, Andre uh, chatting to the now much more animated postgrad guy who obviously has a crush the approximate size of Jupiter. <laughs> oh, we were just talking about you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, Andre. We were, we were just talking about you. Hi. I, I heard something about uh, references. Um, huh? yeah, it seems I'm going to be staying here a while. Well, in town, not well in the library, but in town. Well, if 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 you can manage a room at the Boast for another week or so, um, I have that uh, I, I have that uh, secondment house sitting thing that, that that's two years uh, it's, it's certainly enough to save up if you're staying longer than that she that looks, sounds good uh, th th everybody but clarity notices how just plain thrilled mm -hmm. andre looks at the concept <laughs> and uh, andre that was actually going to be my suggestion well and I, I i meant i thought of the the the, the position that you had mentioned and um, I thought maybe I could take up that role. As long as you don't mind uh, dusting somebody's book collection and occasionally feeding their cats. <gasps> you <laughs> <laughs> just said the magic word. After all, it, yeah. Like Darby's doubled <laughs> over at this point. <laughs> Silent image, floating pink hearts around her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm continuing to hold up Norman. <laughs> I'm double. He's here, Andrew. New friend. <laughs> Hello. Uh, it, uh, but no, yes, the, the, the professor in question has five cats. <gasps> and a library approximately the size of my apartment. Ooh. It requires dusting. I'm, um. I'm better with plants, and he has a garden about twice the size of my apartment. It's a, it's a roof garden just trying to... Get... Hello, Norman. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you back to my sister now. And The, the, the paddling... Can do... Okay, I'm not going to give you back to my sister now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Norman. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a roof garden, and I'm probably going to be spending a fair bit of my time up there, but uh, I can happily let, uh, let the gentlemen know it like i say we won't be able to move in for another week but uh as long as you can manage uh the the, the at the bravo's boast um if i take it that the rest of you aren't staying or hazel would be mentioning loudly often um you know. might you might be able to budget a little better if uh you take a single room after that i know the bravo's boast has some mm-hmm but I can show you around town. Um, I get the impression that this lot are probably a little worried that you're going to disappear into a book never to be seen again. And I have a feeling I'm going to be charged to make sure that doesn't happen 100% of the time. Mm-hmm. I get preoccupied sometimes. I am a very good cook, and I take after mom. Oh. 
which means you're going to be bullied into actually sitting down and having meals with me and helping me shop and getting fresh air and there might even be dancing. I don't do enough of that. Um, there are worse <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm like, how many colors has Clarity turned so far? This is basically the cute, the, the lesbian Harold flirting bit. Just... <laughs> <laughs> They're lesbians, Harold. <laughs> yeah, they, you, can, you, can see the, you can see the postgrads looking disappointed as all hell. <laughs> <laughs> I just glance, you know, if I, if, if, you know, glance over, I'm just kind of sorry, dude. <laughs> just sorry. Just, what about it? Just... I'll, I'll, I'll fill out the uh, address card, and I'll. I was actually just gonna go out and grab a quick sandwich before I went back for my own research, but I'm sure I can write a letter of recommendation over, uh, over my own dinner, and. Uh, with the Bravo's boast is temporary address and uh, the the uh, upcoming position as permanent, um, there should be a library card waiting for you in. And looks at uh, the postgrad who's. We need to get it made and enchanted so day after tomorrow, if all the paperwork is in tonight. Oh, thank you. Um, and he actually pulls out some parchment. We're we're happy enough to have it filled out after the fact, but you're gonna have to sign here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Clarity reads it through real fast. And... Well, it, it, it's a, it's actually just you know name, address. Um, yeah, it's a form. Re- referee. Uh, it's just that it needs to be signed by the person to be properly filled out, and this saves time. Okay. And there, there's a little blurb at the bottom that I imagine Clarity reads. That's just basically the uh, you know, the the below named individual uh, has you know all rights and borrowing privileges of the library. Uh, please refer to. <laughs> Uh, library rules, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if if you do not follow the rules of the library, there will be consequences, and most of them tend to involve curses rather than uh, fines. Fines. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 from what you can tell, the rules are basically: don't talk too loud, otherwise you will be subject to a silencing spell. Um, do not deface the books, otherwise you will be barred from that particular section for a week. Um, because press digitation is, while it's a thing, we prefer not to have to continually do it. Uh, stuff like that, you know, damage to the, uh, you know, damage to the books, um, beyond usual wear and tear will result in s- s- small amounts of psychic damage. It's a magical <laughs> library and it has means of defending itself. <laughs> it will slap you for doing anything bad. Oh, psychic damage! All right. And he 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 hands he hands over a small uh book. Yeah, it's it, 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 it's just a, it's more of a pamphlet than anything else. But these are the rules and regulations of the library. Read over them before you actually get your card, so you know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, you're probably gonna have to ask for help at the front desk until you visited for about a week. At which point we can uh, assign you your uh, library familiar. Uh, and. Uh, Andre sort of looks up and whistles a little, and there is a, uh, there is actually a pixie. Hello. Oh. Hi. Straight to Sylvan. Hi. Ooh. Hi. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. You all look a little bit surprised. We kind of are. Well, I know most. Of us, here. Most of us live in forests. But um, there aren't a lot of forests here, and this is warm. And they used to be trees. And yeah, uh, we're safe. And I'm, 
and I'm, I'm, you know, I still, I, I'm understanding it, but I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> so I, not in Sylvan. I'm going, oh, that's actually, yeah, I can follow that logic. Um, she probably will not have a pixie though because she doesn't speak Sylvan. I can. Uh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know what she'll get, but it's not gonna be a pixie. I am here because she speaks Sylvan. That makes sense. Andrew is awesome that way. Yes, it says 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 the girl who kicked and screamed about learning Sylvan at all, or keeping up hers. You know how hard it was to actually keep in practice. A lot harder than than than. Than it needed to be. Yeah. <laughs> Straightens the bow. More. Anyway, we we'll, we we'd, we'd best leave before the rug tries yeah. to usher us out. Well, you, oh. usher you out. Um, and I have a letter to write, and I suppose you all need time or something. But um, I'll tell you what, Clarity. How about we meet here? Tomorrow, after breakfast, I'll give you a bit of the library tour, show you the nearby spots where um, I will be dragging you to make sure that you eat proper meals, and uh, <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll introduce you to the gentleman that will be caretaking the place for so you'll see the address, and then I can give you all the forms and the recommendation letter for you to hand in. Oh, thank you. Yes, that sounds... That sounds... And yes. she she does she does what Hazel uh, sometimes does so uh, holds out the the arms in an off an invitation for a hug. <laughs> uh, she, she 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 does the full on twilly hug and then kiss on the forehead. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. See you then. <laughs> I'm like. And I just took cute damage again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, do I need to mark down five points? Because, damn. <laughs> I think I got a cavity off of that. The the rug under your feet is actually twitching. And the, the, the post-grad is not warning you, because he's just glum at this point. <laughs> uh, we might want a boogie. So you are out of the rather impressive library. I mean, the outside looks pretty impressive as well. Think think the New York Public Library, but like amplified rather. Wow. So uh... That is the biggest library I have ever seen. You are going to have a time. Yeah. yeah. It almost feels like it was bigger on the inside. It was actually. <laughs> and these, yeah, and yeah, this lot yeah, all know yeah. it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it kind it of was. is. A building this big and they needed to make it even bigger. Yeah. Did you see how many books there were even in just a little bit we went? We, like, well, <laughs> I didn't, you really didn't get us. Uh, that first area is kind of a blur because we just kind of booked it. Uh, oh! Sorry! Oh, that one I didn't even mean. I didn't even mean that one. That was completely <laughs> unintentional. Wow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you know. You see what happens. If it wasn't get for that, you know, I make I'd actually fun. want to, to 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 go back specifically to the library to read stuff. See if any of the stuff Lyra taught me is in there. But now, because of that, Darwin, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to work through that bit first. I think I need another one of those occupies. Anyone with me? <laughs> well, we were th- I thought we were going to head back to the boast. I don't think they make them there. They make uh, something at the boast. Oh, yeah. we'll, I'll, I'll get us stuff. I'm sure the twins can work us up and work us up a little something. We're going to need some drinks. We got to celebrate the uh, Clarity's new found gig. <laughs> Come on! This is not a this is not a parting of the ways. This is just an evolution. It's time to freaking celebrate it. Let's go. Time for drinks. Time for fun. Yes. Yeah. Clarity puts an armor on Darwin's shoulders. 
You're a good egg. <laughs> Farm fresh. <laughs> <laughs> something, something good egg, but bad yolks. <laughs> hey, that's my job. <laughs> I am, grabbing Darwin, I am grabbing a clarity and commencing yep. the dragging <laughs> in the direction <laughs> of the post. Following. But I can even remember that. Yeah. The... Wait, no, I, over, no, Hazel, no, it's over, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the Bravo's boast is its usual, uh, fairly late evening boisterous, um, it, it, it mercs, and they're doing the same kinds of things and from both ends of the spectrum. You know, some are commiserating, as it were, and some are celebrating, and you know, some are celebrating promotions, and some are you know, um, cheering on somebody who's leaving for greener pastures or retiring or... It's generally speaking a party mood. See? Yeah. What did I tell you? Be party time. See, Clarity, this is what I'm talking about. It, greener pastures, sort of. Although, given the garden, yeah, okay, that qualifies. <laughs> and Torin, and I have, Torin, well, these Torin is actually um, in that little corner by the fireplace, just about there. And and he's he's keeping out of immediate sight, but he's playing nothing with lyrics. He's just playing the kind of tavern music you'd hear in Dun in in Dragon Age and that kind of thing. Just mm -hmm. rollicking tavern tunes, you know. Yeah, I I finally pieced through the uh, the the voices enough to actually pick up some of the music, and I'm like, wait, what? I know that. Oh, there he is. I <laughs> just sort of wave. And I'm off for the Twins bar. Yeah, I'm, me too. Yeah, Jed, Jed, <laughs> Jed and Jazz are doing their usual cocktail uh, kind of uh, routine, and they, they, they skid. Can we help you? Four gold. Celebrating! Clarity's got herself a new gig! What do you have? Something literary. <laughs> Is this like when you were saying you want to literally drink this place and we have to liquefy something? <laughs> <laughs> literary, not literally. <laughs> She's got a new gig. She's going to be doing research and looking and, and learning things. Um, Clarity, any ideas what you want? Sweet? Sour? Something with some kick? What? You're muted. You're muted. Something sweet and fruity. There you go. The, 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 the look at Darvin, bit like him. <laughs> and I shoot off. <laughs> and I just beam. I'm just, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with it today. <laughs> and um, sliding from the opposite corners of the bar after a fairly lengthy kind of. Uh, uh, drink shaker and booze bottle juggling act. Um, you know, slide, click, slide, click, slide, click. And again, really tall glasses. Um, sort of a deep orange color. Um, basically this entire fruit salad kind of thing on, on the rim. And again, uh, little little paper umbrellas. <laughs> you have no idea what the fuck is in these things. <laughs> Smiles an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Start drinking it. What it's, do I get? It's there's a kick of citrus. There's a sweet and mellowy kind of a thing that. Um, Darwin can't actually identify, but I can tell you is mango. There's a hint of something else that you actually do recognize. It's just this little bit of cranberry to cut some of the sweet of the, the melon. And you can't really taste the alcohol exactly. 
but you can definitely feel it when it starts to kick in. It's one of those ones that tastes like fruit juice mm -hmm. right up until the effects hit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a... Woo! That's a... That's a kick. I need to know. I take a sip. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's same, a, um, same that's, thing. That's... That's... Wow. What? That's cranberry. Okay. I, I, a cranberry. Okay, I got that. It's orangey. Okay, I got that. I have there, no idea what that is. There was some. There was something else sweet that, again, Darwin can't identify, but I can tell you is peach. Mm hmm And I started going, I was like, I don't recognize that. I don't recognize... I don't know what all these are, but they're really good and together. Thank you. This is amazing. <laughs> we are going to be Still having... Still going. Go, go, Such go, interesting go. things to do to fruit. Yeah, there's there's some mango nectar, there's some uh, peach liquor, there's some vodka, there's two kinds of rum, and there's this stuff that the brass arrows brew out of cactus, and it's got kick for days. <laughs> oh god, it's made of cactus. This sounds like the new sand keg. Okay, <laughs> well... Te how... yeah, technically, it's the version of tequila. How much is one of these? Uh, they just put... You should just put four gold on the bar, so that that covers one round. I'll put down. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm putting down. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh God. Eight. <laughs> oh boy. We're doing three rounds. Wait, and is that was that a round for all of us or just yeah. for the three of us? No, that 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 was six. It's everybody's so click, 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 yeah. Okay, they, so then they, we're doing basically uh, the the big difference between the uh, the the book bow and dragon and the bravos bows is that the book bow and dragon tends more towards uh, the top shelf stuff, whereas these two have managed to make an art form out of taking that middle of the road or budget booze and make it taste amazing. Yeah. Or at the I'm very, still... at the very least, you know, if if you don't if if you don't want to taste rot gut, they can make sure you're not going to taste rot gut, even though they're using, you know, the the cheaper stuff that's actually usually more potent. It's still made of two hundred percent. Will brick you. <laughs> yep, I'm buying us another two rounds on top of what we already got as the night goes on. How I'm... drunk am I? <laughs> If you have to ask, make not me, drunk make enough. Make me a constitution saving throw, all of you. <laughs> You've already oh, been no. boozing it. <laughs> 20. Actually, Holy Hazel's crap. doing okay. Six. <laughs> 15. 14. I'm uh, pulling mine up. <laughs> I'm fine. Remy's Fifth gone. Button. Remy, Remy... <laughs> Probably had one too many glasses of wine at parents' dinner anyway, because oh, yeah. please don't embarrass me. And of course, when the when the when when the thing about the poisoning came out, it really was just ah oh, swink. <laughs> so she's already a couple of drinks ahead of you guys. So by the time the first uh, round of the 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 you know, jet and jazz specials hit hit you guys, Remy is just sort of. You know, flump on the on on the table with the I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pull one of the staff aside and one of the twins and ask if they have anything herbal like mint or anise or if Jagermeister existed. Mm. <laughs> they turn around and look at each other and it's expensive. How expensive. Did I hear that? Well, um, if, if he pulled aside and it's that quiet, probably not. Uh, oh, it's, okay. It's, it's kind of something that we brew, and um, and it, we don't make very much of it, so it's like a gold a shot. I'll, t I'll, t I'll put down a gold, yeah. Um, they, they come out with this bottle of... You're not really sure what it is, but it's... Sort of a greenish gold. It's almost like that one half green, half hazel eye of yours. Mm. Something like that color, but a bit more green. And <laughs> the smell is distinctly herbal. 
Oh no. With a bunch of herbs that some you recognize, some you don't. Make me another constitution saving room. That's the sand cat. <laughs> oh god. Thirteen. You're slurring a little by this point. You're still <laughs> upright. But given what your palate seems to be, it's a great improvement over that 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 fruit cocktail in a booze hound that uh, they're serving up over there. One one gets tired of the the sweet stuff eventually. We got more drinks, come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh god, everyone's freaking yeah, sloth. Jed, Jed, Jed sort of leans over, jazz bruises, so if you want to strike a deal with her for an actual bottle of it. And mm -hmm. off he goes to serve another customer. And I'm just... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, Darwin, <laughs> Darwin, Darwin's a little bit... Um, I mean, he's, he's... He's gone a little boneless. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sort of half leaning on 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 clarity and half leaning on 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 Froseth and uh, I'm loving everybody. <laughs> so, hey, I love you guys. I, I wonder if I wonder if this could substitute for the poison we need. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't even know what he ordered. He's just holding up a shot glass, like. I don't know what that is, what but okay. Um, uh, I'm back over the. What did? He have. That's this stuff that Jazz brews. It's like a goldish shot, but it's only because the herbs that's in it. Uh, uh, two golds, just because I want to give you something too. <laughs> uh, it flicks it. Hey, Jazz, they're liking your herbal shit. Flick. <laughs> <laughs> it pours the uh, pours a shot for Hazel. And yes, make me another constitution save. You're just hoping to fail now, aren't you? Oh, four. Well, there you go. I rolled a four. <laughs> and given given the given the modifier, <laughs> that's pretty pathetic. Yeah, you you take it down, and you are actually starting to. You're actually. You kind of hope you're hallucinating because otherwise, a a, a bunch of pixies have have taken up residence in the Bravo's Boast. And that would be a really weird mercenary company. Mercenary company of pixies. Hey! Hey, hey, Clarity! <laughs> Clarity! <laughs> what oh, is no. it, Hazel? Oh. There's pixies! <laughs> what? I think. What pixies? Another, wait, what? No. She had, no she had some of the herbal shit, says Jet. Jed, don't oh, take sparkly! Too, yeah, don't take too much stock in anything she says. <laughs> Alright. There's no pixies. We got a fairy dragon. Where'd Flitty go? <laughs> Flitty needs... Yeah, Flitty somebody needs buy drink. Flitty a drink. <laughs> no. no. I'm gonna uh, get Flitty some of mine. No. No. You can have one of the fruit That's a no. bad idea. Yeah. More, Flitty Maury's still arrested. Maury is sort of going, Flitty is upstairs away from all the noise. Okay. I love Flitty. Flitty is I, love you, I love you guys. Clarity, I'm going to miss you. Mm. Family. I have now wrapped myself around Clarity. Ah. <laughs> There's now a lot of cleric attached to you. Ah. Group hug on the rogue. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we are all so drunk. We are um. all so drunk. Uh, um. Hmm. Well, I said I wanted to celebrate. <laughs> We're doing it. Is Remy okay? She hasn't moved in a while. She's breathing, I think. I'm oh. fine. Oh, there she <laughs> go. She's yeah, fine. She's still awake. Yeah, she's she's starting to fall asleep a little bit, but uh, it's a little bit hard with the yelling and the occasionally being poked. <laughs> she's had she's uh. had party she's had parties like this. Um, they tended to be a little less in the way of fruity drinks, which actually instead of being designed to 
keep going all night. These blots seem to be trying to get drunk as fast as humanly possible. For uh, <laughs> varying definitions of human. But you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, no. They, they just went straight to drunk and are apparently going to keep going. And somewhere in the drunken haze, Remy is going, we're going to have to set aside tomorrow for hangover. Not remembering about lay on hands or lesser restoration at all. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to, let's see. I've had, uh, by this point, probably two. So there's still one more round. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Am I going to have to make extra saves? Uh, fruity this drinks. Can I point no, out something you're... we've already learned about making an adventurer pile? Oh god. <laughs> given there's, given the There's no tidal waves nearby. It, with all these drunks around, do you really want to tempt fate on that one? There given given the given the time that we are currently at um what I am going to say is that the party continues. You are basically all just com- Completely fucking sloshed by the end of it. <laughs> At yep. some point, there is a rendition of For She's a Jolly Good Fellow. Mm. <laughs> mm. That, that, that doesn't, I mean, okay, that scans, but it doesn't work. For She's a go- Jolly Good Tiefling? There you go, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Rogue doesn't have enough syllables. Uh, for actually, she's a jolly, For act- She's a go- Jolly Good Sneaky Type. Actually, uh, given given to- how, what Torin knows about uh, Clarity and her general class, for she's a jolly good trickster, for she's a jolly good trickster, <laughs> jolly good trickster, <laughs> jolly good trickster <laughs> which nobody <laughs> can deny. <laughs> uh, and you do eventually um, amble yourselves up the stairs and effectively collapse which is the point at which we will probably end our session but I do have one question given that um, given that you know obviously we've paved a departure for clarity um, with the potential to come back if there's ever time again um, do you want this to be your last uh, session with us for the time being? I can be here in two weeks. It's fine. yeah. It's it's not it's not so much that. It's just that I don't know where two weeks is gonna go. Is the thing because they may end up having to ship out faster than the one session. I'm so pretty... like halfway through or something. Yeah, and I I'm. Well, let, we'll we'll say we'll say halfway through for next week to give you a proper send off. It's just I've kind of got a plan where I'm going with this around what's happening now. So just as long as I know, I'm not trying to force things. I'm just trying to figure out where mm-hmm. we all are. So we'll say that at least half of next session will be proper clarity send off, and I'll go about planning the rest of uh, this arc from there. Yeah, what well, I mean whatever is con- you know more convenient. Oh, no, no, it's... that 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 part's fine. It's just okay. as as long as long as you don't mind if you know if it turns out that they do have to kind of shoot off. I don't want you to have to sit there without, you know, being a part of the story if you see what mm-hmm. I mean. Mm-hmm. But um we'll we'll discuss We'll we'll take that particular point to have Clarity hand off the stuff she's been hoarding. So if you want to have a think about who gets what, who's holding on to what, uh, who gets your notes, and how you're going to get them to the relevant player, <laughs> stuff like that. But okay. uh, as, we, as long as we can hang on to you for a little while longer, that's kind of cool too. So, great. Yeah. Um, I mean, I only ran with this because it was just it was it it was, it was Darwin. It fit. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't really have much choice. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll so leave... much party. So yeah, we'll. And, and of course, you're all gonna have to deal with the fucking hangovers next session mm-hmm. because yes. you're, 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 
You're paying for that. One more thing. One more thing I wanted to do. One more thing I wanted to try to roll, just to see. Yep. Nope. I managed to make it into bed. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a twenty-three in a deck save. I wanted to see if whether or not I actually hit the bed when I went. Poof. No, I did. <laughs> And There's the ever-predictable pile of cleric and rogue, the pile of a bard over there on the... On the bed, I don't know where Frozen wound up. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, pretty... I'm just wondering what happens when you get someone who can cast Silent Image at will, drunk. <laughs> just hallucinatory images down the hall. <laughs> right, I mean, like, when, when you got the pixies, you saw them. When I got the pixies, maybe everyone saw them. <laughs> Cry <Cry-buster. laughs> In any case, uh, because I seem to be killing a couple of people over here, uh, we'll call it there, and we'll see you all in two weeks for the uh, more sensible uh, dealing with what comes next.